Here's a real hack when it comes to progesterone testing or doing any kind of test with blood for your dogs, right? Normally the traditional way, like you get clotted samples and things like that when you're drawing blood on your dogs and you're trying to centrifuge it to get serum, right? Well, this is a new hack. This is a new cheat code that I've been using that allows us to get perfectly looking good serum, not the headaches of the old way that we used to do things. So stay tuned. You're not gonna wanna miss this episode of Breeders Hacks because this has been a game changer. This has changed my life and made life just a million times easier when it comes to doing progesterone tests, pregnancy tests on the dogs, all kinds of stuff like that. So stay tuned. You're not gonna miss this episode of Breeders Hacks. All right, guys. What's going on, Bully Fam? What's going on, Bully Fam? What's going on, dog breeding family? I wanted to show you guys something that I'm super excited about, right? Because we were about to do a progesterone test and anyone who does a progesterone test knows that you want to get perfect separation. You want to get perfect serum when it comes to doing your test, right? And the frustration is I've had it happen so many times where I'm going to spin blood and it gets thick and clotted and I can't, I can't use my pipette in order to get the serum out in order to perform my test. So I'm super excited to show you guys these. They're basically, these. they're called like serum split tubes. And what's so dope about them is basically it removes the issue of getting like really bad samples anymore, getting clotted samples, this, the, your blood looking like jelly and not being able to perform the test. So let me just, I'm just gonna show you guys real quick, like in comparison, right? We have a dog that we, we drew blood. I got plenty of videos on the channel on how to draw blood, but like we put them in the traditional tubes that we used to use, right? Because we, we don't do whole blood anymore. It just didn't work out for us. We didn't really get all that accurate results, right? So for serum, we have our tubes that we would normally use, our little mini centrifuge tubes. And then now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys a comparison, right? So we have two of those there from the same dog. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take one of our serum split tubes. I'm gonna take the, oh, let me get the top off of this. And we're gonna go ahead and put the blood right into this tube, right? Just like this. Here we go. And as you can see, this is actually sitting for a moment. So that's why it's a little bit thick already, the blood. But with a tube like this, it doesn't even matter. And you guys are going to see why. And that's why it's game changer. Like I, had, I, I told Wilson, I was like, yo, we got, we got to do a video on this. <laughs> we got our blood here. So the only thing is, obviously, we want to take our tube and we want to balance it, right? Because when, when we put anything in the centrifuge, we need to balance it. So I'm going to go ahead and put water on the opposite side just to be sure, there we go, all right? So I just put a little bit of water so we can put it on equal sides, right? So I'm gonna put the blood in here on this side and I'm gonna put the water on the opposite side. So when it spins really fast, uh, it doesn't break our machine or anything like that. And here we have the blood that we also put in our little mini tubes. And I'm gonna go ahead and put those on opposite sides as well, right? So we'll put the cover on. And now the first thing is you want the blood to sit for a little bit. You want it to coagulate before you just start going willy-nilly and spinning it. I've spun it before and had good results, but I find the best results is when I let it sit for 10 minutes. So what I want to do is just set my timer real quick for 10 minutes. So we're going to let the blood sit in our tubes before we go ahead and run our test, just so you guys can see. All right. So in 10 minutes when we're done, I'm gonna start the test and you guys are gonna see it's a night and day difference. So as you guys can see, the 10 minutes just ran up. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do quickly is, you know, obviously our timer just went off. So I'm gonna go ahead and now set it for another like five minutes to spin. And now I just, I usually just turn it up to the highest that the machine can go. All right, cool. So we have it at, you know, 3000 RPMs for five minutes. So I'm gonna let this spin for another five minutes. I know it's a little bit longer than usual than I would do before. Before I would just put it in the centrifuge and just spin it and get my sample. But this way has allowed me big time to not have any more issues and get the most accurate results and get perfect samples every time. So we're gonna let this run for like another five minutes and then we'll speed up time again and we'll show you guys the end product, all right? All right, guys, so it's been approximately five minutes and we were letting it spin at its fastest speed for five minutes. So I'm gonna pop the top off. I'm gonna show you guys really quickly, right? We'll look at the old style of tube that we used to use, right? So as you can see, it looks really clotted. The sample looks really clotted. 
Um, I'll pop the top off and show you guys real quick. If I grab my pipette, for example, and we'll try to take some out, it's it's so clotted. It's it's not sucking. It's not sucking the sample entirely up. Yeah, it's like kind of stuck. It's like a jelly kind of consistency. If you ever tried to spin blood, you know what this looks like already. I don't really have to explain this to you guys. So we're going to throw this in the trash, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and grab um, the tube, our serum split tube, right? So if we look at this, I mean, look at the separation on this thing. So all I have to do is quickly go ahead and take this off. Go in like this. Boom. Came right up, right? We got the liquid right there. I got a little bit at the end. There we go. Boom. Have our liquid right there, right? And that's how it's supposed to be, guys. So real quick before I run my test, just want to explain kind of the science a little bit behind these things. It's really, really dope because what I like about these is it gives you a perfect spin every time. I was a little frustrated because of the fact that when we stopped using whole blood, it became annoying again to deal with clotted samples with serum and things like that. So the science behind these tubes, right behind the gel, right? The gel that's at the bottom of these tubes, from my understanding, I don't know exactly what the gel is, but basically it's less dense than the red blood cells, but it's more dense than the serum. So basically it gives you a perfect spin every time because it, the, it, plays off of, it plays off the science of density. So basically it'll always land right in between. So as you can see, it basically has encompassed the red blood cells and has kept the serum right on top. So what you also need to know is there's different types of tubes out there that you can use when it comes for testing with blood, especially for your dogs or whatever the case may be. There's green top tubes, purple top tubes, and you want to kind of stay away from those types of tubes. You want to make sure that you're using the proper tubes that's for the type of testing that you're going to be doing. So we want serum. So these tubes are specifically designed for that. But other types of tubes, like the green top tubes, it doesn't allow clotting. Same thing for the purple top tubes. They don't allow clotting. So the blood sample isn't allowed to clot. So now you're getting plasma instead of serum. And when you're doing progesterone testing or any other kind of thing that that pertains to us with dog breeding at least for the most part i'm always using these types of tubes i'm using the tubes that have a gel activator that is giving me serum you want serum serum is when you're simply spinning down the blood and you having the byproduct on top whether it's with a gel activator like with these tubes or where you're just spinning the blood by itself but if you're using these other colored tubes that are out there like the green top tubes, like the purple top tubes, then you're most likely getting plasma and you're not gonna get accurate test results and you may not get, say, the health benefits for your puppies or for your dogs if you're using the serum for that because you're getting plasma, not serum. And on top of that, you're having these other chemicals and additives in those tubes where these tubes, for example, just have the gel, which doesn't affect the, the sample at all. So it's really cool. We have these tubes on the website, breedershacks.com. You know, whether you have a Hoke machine or whether you have a Wanfo, Minivitis, Idex, whatever machine you got, you can get these tubes from us. Yeah, basically it's sick. I mean, like I can hold the sample upside down <laughs> and the red blood cells are still at the bottom because the gel is keeping it basically encompassed and I have all the serum on top. And what's really convenient about it now is after like I do my test, I have plenty of leftover serum that I can save for newborn puppies if I'm doing puppy, you know, serum therapy, or say if a dog has a scratched eye, I have a whole video talking about the benefits of what you can do with serum. But um, I just wanted to show you guys this episode. I just wanted to talk about these things because these tubes are freaking awesome. <laughs> That's the best way I can say it. Like, it makes me enjoy doing serum again without having to worry about getting clotted samples or having a headache or anything like that. So make sure you guys check them out breedershacks.com. It'll make doing progesterone testing, relaxing testing, pregnancy testing, any kind of test that has to do with your dog's blood a million times easier. Or if you just like want to save some serum to give to puppies or something like that down the road, it, it really is amazing. It's game changer, guys. All right, guys, I hope this information was helpful. I hope it was useful. Drop a comment down below and let us know what your thoughts are. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next episode of Breeders Hacks. All right, guys.